Good morning <laughs> welcome back. It is Tuesday. I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. I don't know if I mentioned it, but the other day, all of Sunday, I thought it was Monday and I got a package on Sunday and I was like, wow, a package on a holiday. But it wasn't the holiday because Monday was the holiday. Anyways, I am at work, obviously. I'm a little bit tired, but we're doing all right. It's a gorgeous sunny day today. And so hopefully it's just gonna be a short shift. I have some running around to do after work. I have a package to mail. It is currently in my backpack. And I wanna pick up some stuff from shoppers like I mentioned yesterday. And then maybe if we get ambitious, I'll go to like the other place, Walmart or Fabricland or something. Like, I know it's not crunch time yet, but it is like over halfway through May. I pretty much have a month left in town before I go away. And so like I've mentioned before, I just like to get stuff well in advance. So. We'll see what the plan is for today. I had some weird dreams last night about my grandma renovating her house. Like, we went to show up to drop off groceries and she wasn't there for one, which was a weird thing. And her entire deck was gone, but there was an overhang where the deck had been and then she had this new screened in porch built. And then she took out the windows from her kitchen. Like they're like, like a giant wall of windows, just gone, built in fridge. It was weird. And then she showed up in her vehicle that stopped working last year. Hectic, crazy grandma out having a good time when she should be at home. <laughs> Anyways, that was a really weird dream. But so I'm going to have my breakfast drink now and then get to work. And then hopefully when I get home, I can have a productive day. I feel like I have a lot of stuff on my list because I didn't write yesterday. So I should write today and then just, I don't know, embroidering. And I'm home. So it is current. I don't. I can't see. It is currently two o'clock. Uh, I got off work at twelve thirty. I had to go to Shoppers because I had to pick up some things and mail a package. And then I went to Walmart because I want to see if I can find some shorts and pick up a few other things. And then I grabbed McDonald's on the way home because I was very hungry at that point. So I am supped. I am home. I have spent a lot of money today, but. I think I pretty much officially have everything I need for Blind Channel, like a month out. Save, wait for it, my food, which is fine. So at Shoppers, I picked up allergy medicine and allergy medicine and allergy medicine. I think I went through like four bottles last year um, on and off with basic random whatever allergies actually it might have been the year before it might have been five the year because like the smoke and the fires are so bad so i like to bring out like three and then there's usually some in the store but obviously i don't want to use the entire store inventory because there's usually like two balls at a time so i got allergy medicine so i am set for that for now i think i actually have a benadryl that i haven't opened yet too and if i don't open that i'll bring it as well because i also picked up these sensitive ear earrings I think I mentioned earlier that I want to replace these ones because I've had these ones for like eight years and they've been fantastic and I like never wear anything but pretty much unless I want to be all fancy. So I need to get a new pair because the hinge on this side is starting to go and so I think I'm going to lose them because that's what happened to my last pair. But that last pair only lasted like two years. These ones are going strong. I also got this body balm stiff. It's basically great for that thigh rub and stopping that from happening. I have one somewhere. I'm just not sure where it is and this was on sale so I was like might as well get another one. It's fine. Currently I've been wearing sweatpants most of the time when I go out for my walks and I could probably also wear like yoga pants and stuff but it's gonna get to a point where it's so hot that I'm gonna have to wear shorts and so I need to be prepared. <laughs> then moving on to Walmart. I bought more underwear. I bought some underwear. Two different packages last week or the week before that I think uh, because a lot of my underwears are just like suddenly like falling apart so I needed some but I wasn't sure what type I would want so I got a pack from one store and a pack from the other store different brands and I decided to go with the ones from Walmart so I picked up a bunch more today and I'm gonna go through my underwear and get through get rid of anything that is destroyed and I'm gonna be sad to see a lot of underwear go but like not only is like it's stretching and not fitting anymore it's getting destroyed in other ways so that's fine I also picked up a 10 pack of socks um, 
that are low cut socks. I have some nice ones. I think they're also the athletic works that are a little bit taller, which I really like, especially for work. But I've been out walking and stuff and I don't want to get that terrible tan line. So that's mostly the reason I got these. I also got myself a nightgown <laughs> because I really love wearing shorts to sleep, but also with like a big long what the heck is this shirt over top of it and also especially because there were a couple times out in blind channel where i was like in like my short shorts in the house with all my girlies which was fine but then my boss showed up and it's so awkward so if i had this at least i could just like pull that down it'd be fine i also picked up more of the friction pens the ones that i was mentioning yeah i got i got a lot i actually really like the pens in general as not erasable but also they're great because that's how i do all my transferring onto my fabric so I have two but I was like I have a feeling these are not gonna last the summer so I went with the intention of just picking up these but then I saw the colored ones and so that happened we know I have issues with pens and then last but definitely not least I got these 3m clear hook things which is how I'm going to hopefully hang up my hooks because I don't know if I mentioned it I had put a bunch of the cork up there and then it all fell down <laughs> honestly I expected it to fall down because <laughs> cork and like anything sticky do not are not friends and so I was just waiting for it to happen and then it happened slowly not in, not like bam 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 very slowly but I think that these will be a much better solution plus I can bring these out to blind channel and I can hang my hoops as room decor while I'm out there the ones that I'm working on so that's exciting but that's where we're at uh decent sized haul but like I said I'm pretty sure I got everything I need except for fabric that's like the only asterisks and food obviously but the food I usually do like in a couple days before I go out because you never know when I'm going to go out so anyways but yeah pretty pretty good shape I still got some stuff coming by mail but overall I'm feeling good like if I had to go tomorrow I could I would just need to do a grocery shop so we're gucky <laughs> anyways I'm gonna go now and kind of clean up the bit of a mess that I just made and make a list for the day because I want to try to be productive uh, and we'll see what we can do can't promise productivity but we can pretend um Oh, I am sweating to death. It's like 20 degrees out there and I just did over 5k of a walk. Also, I'm wearing the hat so I don't get heat stroke, but it just makes me sweat more, I feel. Anyways, I'm back. It was a good walk. It is a 10 after 5 now. So basically, I did a bunch of organizing and cleaning and I edited the vlog and I got it up and I laid on my bed for a bit because I was like, I'm lazy. I don't want to do anything. And then I changed and I went for a walk. So that's where we're at. At this point now, I basically just need to make my bed and then all I have left to do is shower and write my DNAs which is exciting and then embroider I put it on my list but if I do it or don't do it I don't really care but yeah I'm back now I'm gonna maybe jump in the shower now let's see how bad this is that's pretty gross yeah I might jump in the shower now because I'm really disgusting um before I have dinner my uh my mom and her boyfriend went and got dinner to go have a picnic tonight uh but the place that they ordered from closes at five so they're like yeah we're gonna go at like four o'clock for dinner and i'm like i'm sorry but i'm not old enough to eat dinner at four, four o'clock in the afternoon she didn't like that <laughs> but it's true so i'm just gonna make myself i think a pork chop later i don't know with what yet but i'll find something but yeah so i'm just like dying a little but I'm sure once the sweat chills out a bit, I will feel much better. But I'm gonna, yeah, probably jump in the shower and then see where the day takes me. Alrighty, well, it is 10 to eight and I have showered, I have fed myself, I have mostly cleaned up. We're, we're looking pretty all right here. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is spend a little bit of time working on Notre Dame <laughs> and, um, actually wait can I keep yeah there's a few things I can work on but then I want to like erase most of the detailing and redo it so maybe I'll work on that or maybe I'll work on my other map that I traced the other day who knows but I just want to spend a little bit of time working on that and then the plan after that is to do the writing thing so hopefully that'll happen so I figure if I let's see if it's like basically eight 
eight thirty, and then like nine thirty, ten o'clock. Yeah, if I if I embroider until like eight thirty, I should have enough time to get both the places typed up. <sighs> I don't think. Oh, I'm apparently tired. I don't think the two places have too much information. Like some of the characters were like. 1500 words and stuff so they took me quite a while to type out and get an order but the places tend to be a little bit easier uh to type up and sort because generally i just go kind of like floor by floor or room by room or outside and inside or whatever so i think it should be okay but i'm gonna do some creativeness now and then i will uh, check back in along the way Alrighty, so it is 20 after 11 now, and um, I'm happy to report that I was pretty productive. I got both my DNAs typed up. I didn't embroider Notre Dame because I'm mad at it right now, apparently. Um, <laughs> but I did start doing this right here, where the heart is on the left-hand side. That's where Blind Channel is. Um, and then I was talking to my girls, and one of them had sent pictures of a puppy that visited out there. She just went out there yesterday, that was the one. And of Strudel's mom just, like, hugging it and cuddling it. And I was like, oh my god, did this dog get stolen? Please tell me this dog got stolen. And then I said, I'm so excited to resume my position as chief dog petter. Yes, I gave myself a promotion, because if you remember last summer before I went out I had emailed my boss with my intentions for the summer and just so that he knew that I did intend to come back but I w I started writing it it was too formal so I basically wrote hi my intentions this summer are to pet dogs and to come back and work in the store but only if I can pet dogs and his response was yes we can definitely use a dog petter around here see you then basically and so last year anytime somebody asked me like what I did for my job I just said I pet dogs <laughs> I'm actually the storekeeper, but I thought it'd be funny to, on the back of my blind channel hat, these aren't uniforms or anything, this is just a hat I bought. Chief Dog Petter. I think it's hilarious. Um, I have too much power with embroidery, honestly, just way too much power, but that makes me very happy. I was thinking, this wasn't just like, oh my god, Chief Dog Petter, I need to put that on the back of my hat. This was, I was wearing my hat for the last couple days while I was going walking, and I was like, I can embroider something, I can customize this, and this is just like the trash, like trash meme, whatever, like stupidest thing I could think of, which is my jam, so, chief dog petter, right here. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep now because it is, like I said, 20 after 11, and I have to work tomorrow, but I think tomorrow's Latte Wednesday, so that'll be very exciting. So, with that, I'm going to say, thanks for coming along today. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Good night. <laughs>